human beings are not the only ones to get war medals. There was a flutter in pigeon circles when some of them in the RAF were invited to receive the badge of the Allied Forces Mascot Club, run by the People's Dispensary for Sick Animals. The club enrolls all serving animals and birds, whether they're engaged on keeping up their unit's morale, or whether they're hard-working creatures engaged on active operations like these pigeons. This pigeon is Boomerang Bertie, who doesn't only carry one-way messages, but comes back with a reply. He's also called the Colonel. And this is Scruffy. Yes, she certainly looks it, but so would you if you'd been slung out of an aircraft several times. Bertie and Scruffy seem proud of their badges. Most of the other members of the mascot club are dogs, many of them veterans of campaigns in far distant parts of the world. Members of the services have come along for a get-together to introduce their mascots to each other. This is a very important member, Andrew, the mascot and chief of the club staff. And here is number one in the membership book, Barney, donkey mascot of the RAF, one in a darts match. This handsome old English sheepdog is Sunshine, owned by the quartermaster sergeant of an RASC unit. And on a smaller scale, here's Abel Terrier Adelbert, Bert for short. Fury was born in the aircraft Furious, so the air's in his blood. He has a Wren mascot with a big name, Maximilian, the Golden Seal of Raytown. The Cairn Terrier, mascot of the ATS, was called Adeline because she was so sweet. Buller, the Black Labrador, joined the army to see the world. He's had an adventurous career. Bob, the wire-haired terrier, was unwanted until the WAFs took him over. And lastly, meet Cobber, born and bred on an RAF station, and named after the famous Cobber Cane. 